Hello YouTube and welcome to another Virtual Worlds tutorial. In today's video we're going to be creating terrain using a height map and decorating that terrain with layers, three different texture types. We're going to use a grass, a mud and a dirt texture. If you'd like to follow along with me, the textures I use in this video, please see the description because the link will be in, in there to get access to these files that I'm using and there will be the textures their normal maps and the height map. Right, let's go ahead. First thing you want to do is download that file that's in the description. It's about 32 megs or something of media file that I've uploaded for you. Go to File, New, then create Default. Choose Default, sorry. And when you've got Default, click on the floor plane, highlight it, and just press Delete. We don't need that anymore. Then what you're going to want to do is get the get the folder that you've downloaded, it should be in a zip file and you extract it and you should have something like this called height map and textures drag that into your Unreal, into your content browser somewhere I'll just drop it drop it in the root directory of content so it should just appear give it a second to import <clears throat> just take a few more moments and, let, and it's letting you know it's imported as a normal map And then that's done. And here we are. What you should have now is something that looks like you should have dirt one diffuse texture, which is just a normal texture type. You should have dirt one normal, grass one diffuse, grass one normal, the height map, mud one, and mud one normal map. We can go ahead and delete the height map from here. The reason we're deleting the height map is because as soon as we imported it, uh, the Unreal Engine turned it into a u.asset file. Now u.asset files, Unreal sees them as completed files, therefore it doesn't actually access them you can't actually import them directly unless you use windows file explorer then move about some folders doing it that way that's where you can how you can import them but we're going to be using it in the height map section in just a minute and if you try to use the one in your content browser it just wouldn't load so what you're going to want to do then is go to, uh, up to your modes panel click on landscape give it a second just to load up then you should be presented with this then from here you've got two basic options create new if you want to create a terrain and sculpt it yourself or what we're going to be choosing is import file this one here and then where it says uh, the three dots under height, height map file click on that and browse to the directory or browse to the folder where you originally got it saved to not in your content browser so for me that was desktop and then we go to height map and textures and as you can see it's, it's appeared here then we click, double click on height map there you go, it makes a basic mesh. That's not what the height map will look like. That's just uh, in the meantime processing. It's just letting, it's just showing you that it's understood your command and it's waiting to render the terrain. All we've got to do from here, the only option we have to set to get to import correctly is the scale values. Normally you wouldn't touch these because things can mess up horribly. But in this case, we want to leave the scale for X and Y on 100 by default and Z, go ahead and input the value of 180 and the rest should look like that your section size should be 127 by 127 quads your sections per component should be two times two sections your number of components should be 32 by 32 your overall resolution 8129 by 8129 and total components 1024 if that all looks right to you and you've input and you've clicked on the height map and you've got this looking like this just go ahead and import now it will take a few moments to import because it's quite a large terrain as you can probably tell by the overall resolution size being 8129 by 8129 but it won't take too long and when it comes in Unreal will, will apply a material to it the default material which is just a green checkerboard Computer just froze in a minute. Let me just get a second to unfreeze. We'll click back up on the modes panel up on the place mode, which is the box and the light bulb next to it, so we can move around freely without sculpting our terrain by accident. We'll 
come down to a flat surface. Now what you want to do is under when you're in the place mode section, just click on your terrain. You can tell it's highlighted because the contour goes highlighted around the, the whole terrain. But once it's selected, then what you want to do is Oh yeah, what we want to do now is we want to, first things first actually, what we will do, once you've got that selected, come into your content browser, right click, and come to material, and we'll give this the name, master underscore terrain underscore final. Feel free to go ahead and call it whatever you want. Just remember the name and double click on that open it up Resize the window so you can see the content browser as well zoom out a bit Highlight all the different textures. So you've got dirt one should highlight by holding control and left clicking on Dirt one Dirt one normal map grass one grass one normal map mod one and mod one normal map drag all of them into the material editor and as you can see it's created a texture sample for each, it's created a texture sample node for each material. So we'd have to do that manually. We'll just go ahead and sort this out a moment. It's best to place them. If you can't see the name of the texture sample, just highlight the one and come across here to Material Expression Texture Base. Now we've got more than we can expand it. Come here to Material Expression Texture Base and it should tell you the, the name of the texture. This is Grass One Normal Map we've got highlighted. And this one is Mud One Normal Map. That's fine. We'll do the same for up here. We'll have our Grass. Then our dirt, then our mud. Then what you're going to want to do, when you've got them sorted out, right click on a bit of space and type in landscape. L-A-N-D-S-C-A-P-E. All one word. Then the one you're looking for, the node you want, is the one that says landscape layer blend. Click on that. And as you can see, it's just got one output at the moment. Make sure layer blend is selected. Come down to where it says material expression, landscape layer blend, and it should say layers, zero array elements, and a little plus icon. Click on the plus icon three times. So now it says zero, one, and two. Click on the drop down arrow next to zero and give this the name of grass one. And leave the blend type on LB weight blend. Collapse that back and expand number one and we'll give this the name dirt one and make sure the blend types on LB weight blend again then click on number two the drop down arrow and give this the name mud one and there you go as you can see our layer blend now as well as the uh, one output execution pin it's now got three inputs called layer grass one, layer dirt one, and layer mud one. What we're going to do is just quickly highlight that and press Control and W to duplicate, or you can do Control C to copy, then Control then Control V to paste. And we'll bring this LB layer blend down here next to the normal maps we sorted out earlier. Drag that up there. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure your grass texture selected it says grass one here look so we want to put the top execution pin to the right drag that out and put it into layer grass one make sure they all correspond grass goes into grass dirt goes into dirt and mud goes into mud so the next one is dirt one so the same execution pin on this node and drag that out and put it into dirt one and the last one same execution pin top right into layer mud one because that's our mud texture then what we do 
same thing for process for the normal maps this one is the grass one normal map so it's top execution pin and going to grass one that is dirt one normal map so this execution pin and going to dirt one and that's obviously got to be mud one so that can go to mud one normal map now what we do we just highlight these a bit more we can bring these down bring these up now what we can do is from the layer blend that's got all your diffuse textures hooked up to it take the output pin and drag it out into base color as you can see and then take the, uh, the execution pin from the next layer blend that's got all your normal maps attached to it and attach that to you guessed it normal the normal map and that's pretty much most of the setup done then what you're going to want to do is give it an apply And give it a save what we will do now actually one more last thing we've got to do is take the roughness drag the roughness out and go down to constant on your drop down menu and click on constant make sure it's highlighted and click on value and make sure you turn off the shininess by pressing one and pressing return yeah because obviously grass that and mud don't shine in real life so we are just turning the, rough, the roughness off, which is basically how shiny it is. Give that an apply and save. You'll know you've got it right because your, your material preview will look like a black sphere or a cube or a cylinder or a teapot or a plane, whatever you've got highlighted in your material preview window. That's, that's finished, so we can go ahead and close that. Now what you want to do is make sure your landscape selected and come across here and to the details panel where it says landscape material and drag your master terrain final material into the landscape material and if all's correct it's, the terrain should go black in just a moment that means you've done it correct just one last thing to do before we can start painting our terrain it's very simple straightforward come back up to your terrain tab sorry your landscape and then on these subheading subsections here make sure you're in paint and now you can see down here we have grass one, dirt one, and mud one. But underneath it says none, none, and none. That means it hasn't added a layer info allocated to, yet, allocated to it yet to be able to tell it where it can paint. So to do that, what you want to do is click on this little plus arrow. Then the two options will appear. You want the top one called weight blended layer normal. Click on that. Then give it a place to save. We'll choose height map and textures. The first one you... um choose will take a little while because it's texturing the whole of the terrain that the first texture you've selected the other two like dirt one and mud one won't take that long to input to save because it's it's already basically because the first one you you choose let it go go ahead goes ahead and lays the whole terrain in that texture as you can see we now have a grassy terrain the texture tiles a bit too much we can sort that out in just a moment what you can do now if you want to sort out your textures if you want to make the the um the size of your layers bigger or smaller tile more or less what you can do is open back up your master terrain final material then come all the way here somewhere around here maybe right click and type in landscape again or one word and the one you want is landscape layer chords, as in layer coordinates. Click on that. As you can see, you've just got one output, one output pin. Drag the pin into the UVs of each texture sample. Into UV. So into the first UV, into the second UV, into the third, then into the normal map UV, into the second normal map UV then into the last UV and now if we give that an apply the one we're going to take notice of over here under the details panel is map and scale if we put that say on a 5 
I should make it five times as big. If you were to do mapping rotation, that would rotate. If you put it on 45, say, it'd rotate it 45 degrees. Your material, your layer, and that's the pan map panning on the U and V at both different directions. The X and Y directions. Up, down, left, right sort of thing, you know. And what I will say, whatever you've got this uh, landscape coordinates plugged into, whichever materials you've got it plugged into, when you change the mapping scale, which I have now changed it to 5, all everything that's plugged into, every texture, will change accordingly to, to 5. So if you wanted material, if you wanted d different layers with different texture sizes, you wouldn't actually apply this landscape cores. I just think it's better practice to plug it into everything, every layer, so you've got all your textures of roughly the same size. Sometimes it works out, sometimes you might not, it might not be necessary. That would be up to your own discretion. Okay, when that's done, we'll give it a apply and save. And when we go back into the game, you'll see the texture of the grass has now become a lot bigger. Can you see that? It tiles less now. If we go back to um, modes, the landscape under modes tab, as you can see, we've got tool strength, which shows you how much of the, the effect will be applied, which, yeah. Then you've got brush size, which is the overall brush size of what you're using, the overall brush. Then you've got brush fall off. The more brush fall off you have, like say up to one the maximum, the smoother the transition between layers, textures will be. It won't have such so much of a harder edge. It will merge quite nicely with your other with your other layers. What we will do now, if you want, since we since we haven't since we've got the grass layers uh, all installed properly, we'll go ahead and we'll do dirt one. Click on the plus. We'll choose weight blended layer normal. We'll choose a place to save the layer info. We'll choose height map textures. That'll just take a moment, it's already done. And we'll choose this plus. As you can see, it says dirt one layer info, as well as this one says grass one layer info. It now has its layer so that you can start using it to be painted. And we'll just go ahead and select glass one, mud one, and we'll choose weight blended layer normal. And we'll choose a place to save. We'll choose height map and textures. Now it's just a matter of simply clicking on the layer you want and go ahead and paint. Don't worry if you, if you get a checkboard uh, pop up when you're painting terrain, that's just the Unreal updating. As you can see, I'm painting this layer on here. It's like that, then you can click on mud, like this. Click back on grass, and there you go. That is how to make a terrain via a height map and then add different layers to that terrain. As you can see, that's pretty good. Feel free to experiment with the texture size and your material sizes. And don't forget about brush fall off. Because as you can see down here where I use it quite significantly, can you see the transition between the two textures? It looks a lot more natural if you have a higher fall off. I recommend anywhere between 0.5 to fullest value of one. If you've liked this video at all YouTube or it's been useful, please give it a like, a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section if, you, if there's still anything you're unsure of. I promise I'll get back to you. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We could do with the support. Thank you very much for watching YouTube and have a great day.